Welcome to Jane Jackson Careers, a podcast that takes your career to the next level. Here's your host, Jane Jackson, author of Amazon Careers bestseller, Navigating Career Crossroads. Well, Happy New Year. This is my first podcast for 2019, and I'm thrilled to say that thanks to all of you, my listeners. This is my fourth year of podcasting. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and New Year, and I'm very excited to kickstart 2019 with me. And I want to say thank you to all of you for following me, and I'm delighted to have you with me. Before I launch into my new career tips for 2019, I have some exciting news and special offers for you. So here we go. Firstly, I have two amazing free offers for you. If you're a job seeker, I'm giving away my job search guide, Find Your Dream Job, How to Avoid the Seven Deadly Mistakes of Job Seekers. The link will be in my show notes or you can visit janejacksoncoach.com and you'll see the link to get this valuable guide at no cost to you at all. Okay, so happy new year. Also, if you want to attract career opportunities or secure that job promotion in 2019, then my masterclass, and it's free, The Three Secrets to Personal Branding for Career Success is the one for you. It's only 40 minutes long and in it, I share valuable secrets on personal branding and how to attract what you deserve in your career. Wouldn't that be nice? So you can sign up for the next masterclass at janejacksoncoach.com forward slash three secrets. That's the number three and then secrets. Okay, Um, I'll have that link in the show notes for you as well. So you can find it in the podcast section at janejacksoncoach.com. Now, secondly, even more exciting news. (laughs) I'm thrilled to have been invited to be on a panel of 20 career experts at the Follow Your Dreams Summit that starts on the 14th of January until the 4th of February. And it's free to register for this virtual summit. And during it, you will gain incredible insights from 20 career experts, not just me, Um, into how to boost your mindset, identify your goals and pursue your passion. And this will be delivered to you over 21 amazing days. So why not sign up for it? It's also free. So the link will be in my show notes or you can go to followyourdreams.com forward slash Jane Jackson and you'll find it there. But probably easier just to go to my show notes and click the link. Okay. now thirdly, There's even more exciting news, and and this is where I need your help, if you don't mind. Um, Your Career Podcast, this podcast, is up for the Australian Podcast Awards. And I'm delighted. And after being awarded Top 50 Career Podcast by Max List in the US in 2017 and 2018, plus I was honoured to be named Top 20 Career Podcast globally by Feedspot in 2018. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for good news at the Australian Podcast Awards in May in Sydney, but I need your help. Would you vote for me? If you like this podcast, please vote. So in order to be running for the public vote, if you like this these podcast episodes, um, please vote and the link will be in my show notes at janejacksoncoach.com under episode 167. OK, so I hope to see you there and um, just just go to my website and find it. But anyway, let's see how far I I go with it. You've got to be in it to win it. And um, it's very nice to be in it. So so much excitement. I'd better go- get on with goal setting advice for you, for your career and your life in this new year. So let's now make it all about you. OK, so let's set your intentions for career success in 2019. All right, because we're into the new year now. And you know what? I don't know if this happens to you, but usually the first month of any new year sees so many of us making New Year's resolutions. Did you make yours? Yeah. And there's this huge annual pilgrimage back to the gym, isn't there? Are you one of the gym junkies who thought, oh, I've eaten so much over Christmas and New Year. I better get fit again. Well, I thought so, too. So I I thought, okay, let me test out the new gym uh, just near where I'm I'm living now because I moved at the end of November and there's a fabulous gym there. So on the 5th of January, I headed off to the gym with great intentions of getting back into dance and aerobic fitness. And, you know, years ago, I was a fitness instructor. I was sponsored by Nike. I was so fit and really well cut. Um, Anyway, as the years went by, I've sort of um, 
lost that fitness level and my body shape's a little bit different, but I really miss dancing. So I entered a Shabam class, which was so much fun and it felt great, but I couldn't walk the next day as I overdid it. So I've got kind of, you know, dodgy knees now after many years of marathon running and high impact aerobics and plenty of overuse. I've kind of caned the body a little bit too much over the years, but I've realized that I can't, I can't do this now. I need to take it easy and set a realistic fitness goal. So my fitness goal is to power walk for 20 to 30 minutes every morning instead. And so far so good because I don't have any injuries from that. Now, what about you? I hope your fitness goals are going well for the year. But, you know, when it comes to resolutions, I find they tend to fall by the wayside quite quickly. And so what I'd rather do, and I think this might be helpful for you too, is to focus on intentions instead. So have you thought about your intentions for 2019? You know, I'm a career coach and as you know, I work one-on-one -on -one with career transition clients and I also deliver career confidence group workshops in a corporate environment as well. But what I'm happy to say is that setting career goals is a firm trend every time a new year arrives. And research has found that 45% of us will be investing in upskilling this year. Did you know that? Yep. And 37% plan to be more outspoken and take control of their ambitions at work. And 16% of us are committed to expanding upon our professional network. So are those what you, you're planning as well? So I'd like to suggest three intentions to help you progress in your career this year. What do you think? So let's let's start with intention number one. And intention number one is your learning potential is your earning potential. Yep, it's true. According to research by Good Habits, the biggest career trend tip for 2019 is personal development. Now, after family, which was 66 percent, a quiet life, which was 50 percent, experiences and traveling, 46 percent, and free time and hobbies, which was 40 percent. Now, those are all personal values. The top priority for respondents professionally after those personal values is personal development, putting my talents to use. That was 35 percent of you above salary, contribution to the world, social contacts and an exciting life and career. How interesting is that? I've actually done a blog post on this as well. So if you, you want to see all the statistics and details, uh, hop over to my website. But that's really interesting. So, so many of us want personal development and putting our talents to use as a top value or intention for 2019. However, only 10% of organizations globally are taking on full scale projects to upskill their employees. So if only 10% of organizations globally are taking on full-scale projects, what does this mean for you? It means that, okay, if your organization isn't able to provide you with the training that you really want, you have to take matters into your own hands. If you want to get stuff done, really the person to rely on is you, okay? So how are you going to get stuff done? You need to take control of your own education. Do you want support to take control of your career? I think most of you probably do. So I just want to tell you that the Careers Academy Online, it's a free membership site that I've created and you will gain access to career resources and training for your personal and professional development. It's free to join. OK, it's the Careers Academy Online. And in the Academy, uh, what I've created for you are a is a free how to get a job online course, numerous free guides and lots of special offers on how to write a resume, personal branding for career success, online programs, and much, much more. So is your intention to develop personally and professionally this year? Then why not take action and make your learning potential your earning potential this year? Sound good? Intention number two. Let's set this intention. Banish self-limiting beliefs and trust yourself. You know that self-limiting belief that sits on your shoulder telling you, oh, you can't do it. Oh, you don't have the experience. Oh, you're too young or you're too old. 
you know all of that, let's get rid of it. High self-esteem and confidence is a key component of your success. So whether you are a man or a woman, a dip in your confidence level can have dramatic effects on how you're perceived out there in the marketplace and what you achieve at work. Do you agree? Yep. Now I'm on a mission to help you to grow your self-belief, develop your ability to handle life's little and big challenges by assisting you to become resilient. Now I've gone through so many tough things in life and um, some of you may already know that, you know, over, over a three year period, I went through just about every one of life's major challenges and stresses, including a country move, a divorce, financial concerns, having to find another job, all round about the same time. And oh my goodness, my my stress level was so high that I honestly didn't know how I would be able to, to handle it. But I'm resilient. I developed resilience. The knockbacks that I experienced, I thought, no, I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm going to do something about it. OK, we've all we all experienced setbacks and I've had, you know, plenty in my life, as I say. But it's how we deal with those setbacks that form our character. Setbacks are character building. Really, they are. And every setback, look at it as an opportunity to develop resilience and also to help you bounce back. In the Careers Academy online, you can you can explore an online program that I have called How to Build Confidence. And I created it to help you through those challenging times and to ensure that your intention, which is banish self-limiting beliefs and trust yourself, is fulfilled. So you can always hop over there and have a look. OK. Now, the third intention is to build your network because it is your net worth. Honestly, the people you know, the tribe you build around you who lift you up, that's going to help you to be successful in your career. And when people hear the word network, I know that word networking causes many of my clients to, to cringe, but only initially. OK, they think that networking is kind of schmoozing or behaving like a sick event for personal gain. But no, it's not. It's not sucking up to people. Believe me, networking is neither of those two terrible things. Networking is, and this is important to remember, building genuine relationships. It's not selling. It's not pitching. It's the opportunity to get to know another person. Remember how good it feels to make a new friend? When was the last time you made a new friend? Hmm. Interesting, huh? Now, if you develop mutual trust and respect with each other, and always takes a bit of time, doesn't it? And then, and only then, may career and business opportunities arise out of that relationship. You know, we like to deal with people that we know, like, and trust. So when you're networking, just think about making a friend. OK, making a connection. See if there's a bit of synergy between you. OK, the primary focus when you're networking is to get to know the other person, the real person behind the facade of being a professional, very important person. Right. Who are you really? In fact, what's behind your actual LinkedIn profile? All right. We're all genuine human beings. So why not? Let's get to know each other. Human being to human being. We all have the same worries, the same concerns. We all have self-limiting beliefs. I, I know I certainly have them. But over the years, having developed the resilience, if my self-limiting beliefs start to rear their ugly heads, I just say stop it and get on with stuff. In fact, I, I read this book by Mel Robbins. I can highly recommend it. It's called The Five Second Rule. Any time you're feeling a little worried about something and you think, oh, I'm going to be talking myself out of this very quickly, use the five second rule. Go five, four, three, two, one and go. All right. You know, like five, four, three, two, one blast off. So if, if you start to think, oh, I'm wavering a little bit and I really want to go and introduce myself to someone. But the more you think about it, the less likely you're going to do it. Just say to yourself, Five, four, three, two, one, and then just do it. I do this when I'm lying in bed in the morning and I'm supposed to go and have my power walk, right? And I can easily say, oh, I'll just hit the snooze button again or I'll roll over and have a little bit more sleep. But if I, and oh, I'm so tired. But if I say to myself, five, four, three, two, one, and leap out of bed, it's more likely that I'm going to go for my power walk. Well, anyway, so far it's working. So let's 
think about what we're going to do when it comes to networking. Just want to tell you about LinkedIn Local Sydney events. They're so popular. I've been co-hosting them with the lovely Gillian Bullock for over a year now. and We hold them every month. And at our events, you can be the star of the show. However, the focus is on making authentic connections in a warm and friendly environment because we're really nice and inclusive with everyone. And we always tell people no schmoozing, no selling, no pitching, just come make some friends. Okay. So if you want to know when the next event are on. Follow me on LinkedIn because um, I'm always posting when the next ones are on. We've got one on the 30th of January and then after that there'll be one on the 26th of February. Got them in May, August, November already scheduled. Um, so just have a look on LinkedIn and you'll be able to see my updates. Now expanding your network online, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? LinkedIn's great and then taking those online connections offline is what solidifies the relationship. So combining both is the perfect way to fulfill the third intention, which is your network is your net worth. Are you going to expand your net network this year? I hope so. And um, I'd love to hear about it. So, you know, in, in my show notes, do post a comment and tell me how you're going with it. All right. Now, just want to remind you that in the Careers Academy online, which is the Careers Academy dot online, you get the opportunity to network no matter where you are in the world, because I'm launching today, in fact, the 14th of January, which is when I'm releasing this podcast, my group mastermind sessions. And I personally host these career coaching sessions and provide coaching and advice in a small group setting. So anyone who registered to join the mastermind can send me their questions in advance and I'll answer them during our mastermind session. Uh, it's going to be on this evening from 8 to 9 p.m. So I'm quite excited for an inaugural group mastermind. So why not join me next time and find out how I can support your personal development intentions? Just an extra thing is that if you're a Careers Academy member, you get huge discounts on my coaching sessions and a massive discount on the group mastermind coaching sessions too. So hop over to the careersacademy.online and join. It's free to join. Love to see you there. Now, I'm looking forward to hearing any other intentions you set for yourself this year. So pop them in the comments um, in my show notes. And I hope to meet you in the Careers Academy online, where you'll find a treasure trove of content and value to enhance your career. Now, hey, let's make 2019 a happy, healthy and successful year. I want it to be a joyous one for you. And coming up next in my next episodes will be interviews with Bernard Kassab, who's a marketing specialist and very inspirational, and the amazing, amazing Victoria Rose, who I love. She's a live streaming video specialist, and so there's plenty to learn from her as well. So that'll be coming up soon. And so until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and may 2019 be a wonderful year for you. Bye now. If you enjoyed this podcast, look for Your Career Podcast on iTunes and leave a review. And for all the career management support you need to create your dream career, visit janejacksoncoach.com and join my Careers Academy for live career webinars, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching support, as well as my online career development courses. Isn't it time you found your dream job? You've been listening to Jane Jackson Careers. Sign up to receive regular career advice at janejacksoncoach.com.